Thank you so much, Lebu, for sharing those beautiful and inspiring words as we continue to extend our gratitude to the frontline workers for the sacrifices that you continue to make every day, especially during this pandemic. As leaders, we have the opportunity to provide our people with a sense of security. We can connect, motivate and inspire. And there's been one man who's provided guidance and inspiration throughout this pandemic. A South African clinical infectious diseases epidemiologist who was widely regarded and respected for his research contributions in HIV prevention and treatment. He has spearheaded the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and led South Africa to be a country with one of the lowest death rates worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in saluting the chair of the COVID-19 Ministerial Advisory Committee, Professor Salim Abdul Karim, with this honorary award. Professor Karim, your dedication, commitment and courage deserves our deepest gratitude and admiration. As they say in your home province of KwaZulu-Natal, Siabong. Let's take a moment to reflect. Uh, outside his medical profession, he's uh, Professor Abdul Karim, um, who I know as Slim, um, is a hugely convivial person, a person who's engaging, a person who doesn't pull any punches in uh, discussions, uh, and is also deeply committed to family and friends. Eh? Uh, so he's uh, somebody that's very nice to be around, um, and uh, somebody who's uh, deeply affected by uh, the social conditions in which we find ourselves. Professor Karim started steering this very uh, large ship in extremely turbulent waters, avoiding political and polarized positions, where he was able to assemble many experts with differing insights and could be the voice of reason and reassurance in highly uncertain and challenging circumstances. And my own view is that he was able to very successfully allay the initial levels of panic and concern because of the way in which he played that role. I think one always had the sense that Slim would be successful. And uh, not only is he bright and uh, an exceptional scientist and so on, but he's also somebody very driven by, um, by the social conditions in which he finds himself. Um, and uh, with that, you know, uh, came along uh, a sense of uh, entrepreneurial thinking, so constantly looking for opportunities uh, to do things that would uh, best be benefit society. Uh, somebody who's um, deeply committed, I mean, I think that's the way to put it. Um, so a mixture of uh, excellence in science, uh, entrepreneurial thinking, sort of innovation, uh, all of that. Uh, and also the conviviality, this ability of, uh, uh, of Slim to build partnerships and to build uh, strong, long-lasting partnerships. I think that has been a very strong point of his, uh, of his growth, I think. I'm a Durbanite through and through. Born here, right in the city centre, went to school, went to medical school, did my PhD and still work here. When I was in medical school, it always occurred to me that one needed to look not just at the individual patient, but to understand the overall context for disease. And so I went to specialize in public health. Went to New York uh, to study at Columbia University, went to the London School of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene to study health economics. And all of that together gave me the background in order to understand infectious diseases and to develop a level of expertise in undertaking research. Dealing with COVID-19 has been an enormous challenge. On the one hand, we have a high level of uncertainty because we're trying to make decisions in the absence of sound research and evidence. We're having to make them based on our understanding of disease, and the way in which disease is spread more generally. That creates a situation where we don't really know what's going to happen next and we aren't able to predict that sufficiently well so we have to we have to deal with that uncertainty and in the midst of that uncertainty one has to deal with many different vested interests 
business people would like their businesses to operate. The community people, the NGOs that deal with, they want to be, they want to know that they are going to be safe. Others want, uh, you know, schools to open. Some want schools to be closed. So there are multiple different pressures, but we can only deal with those pressures if we stay true to what we understand the evidence to point to. A big challenge in the in the terrain of academia and, uh, is constantly this tension between uh, you know producing knowledge uh, and very often producing knowledge for what you might think of as kind of transactional gains you know transactional aims if you like you know producing knowledge so you get something um, I think the the really powerful element that one sees in slim is this idea that uh, that the knowledge that you produce also has to have use value, uh, that it has to have implications for society. Now, what inspires me about uh, Prof Kareem is his integrity and his sincerity. Uh, he is extraordinarily knowledgeable and that enables him to inspire confidence in his audience. He takes time patiently to explain clearly the ramifications of the pandemic, but he does all of this with an extraordinary twinkle in his eye. I am deeply humbled by this recognition. It's a recognition not only for me, but for all of the scientists in South Africa who've taken on this task of educating the public, of demystifying this disease, and ensuring that all of us can act based on the best available information. I view this recognition as not merely a recognition for COVID-19, but for the recognition of the importance of science and science communication. When I think about this little virus, a virus we can't even see, and the pandemonium and the, the way it has disrupted our lives, the one thing we can take away from this is that we are powerful. We have the ability to change our behavior to mitigate this risk. It's for us as a nation. It's for us as South Africa. Congratulations once again, Professor Karim. Your contribution is valued and appreciated.